assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel so today's tutorial is on how to make an afghan jubab and if you are just viewing my channel for the first time welcome to my channel and don't forget to tap the subscribe button for more videos like this and tap the notification bell to be notified when i post a new video so for this tutorial we are going to be working with four yards of fabrics a scissors paper straight pin then chalk so the first thing i'm going to do is to take my jubab calculation for my front i want 60 inches and for the back of my jubab i want 68 inches and since hijab cap is always hiding to the back measurement of jubab so i'll subtract my hijab cap from my back measurements after which i'll have 2 inches seam allowance so for my back i'll have 67 inches then i'm going to add 2 inches seam allowance to the front piece also so basically for the front of my jubab i'm going for 62 inches and for the back of my jubab i'm going for 67 inches so for my 4 yards of fabrics i just cut out 62 inches and also 67 inches so the next thing I'm going to do is just to fold my fabric into two and I'm going to fold the front piece on the back piece so I'm folding the back piece first then I'm folding the front on it so we can see the shorter back piece the shorter front piece and then the longer back piece so the next thing I'm going to do is to take my head circumference and since the fabric is folded into four and my head circumference is 20 so that's 20 divided by four so I'm just going to mark five inches there Then the fabric I'm using is a little bit stretchy, so I'm not adding any allowance. But if I use another fabric that is not stretchy, you may just add about one inch allowance. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to come from that five inches point and slant my tape to the edge of the fabric by 27 inches. So I'm just going to connect those two points. Then with my ruler, I'm just going to make it more prominent. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my round sleeve measurements. So I'll just take my tape around my round sleeve. So mine is around 10 inches. So divided by 2, that's 5 inches. So I'll just take 5 inches there. So from the 5 inches point, I will make a slight curve. And then I'm going to make my round sleeve curve also. After which I will come to the down part of my jubab. Then at the front piece, at the edge of the front piece, I'm going to go up by 2 inches. And this is to give a jubab the, the jubab curve. So I'm just going to come by two, 2 inches. After which, I'm going to get the midpoint of my down parts. So I'll just get the midpoint and I'll mark it. And then for the back piece also, I'll do the same. And I'm just going to connect from the 2 inches point to the midpoint of both the front and the back piece Then I'm just going to connect the line from the round sleeve to the down part of my jubab. So I'm just going to start cutting. And I'm cutting the curved part, not the straight one. So after cutting that, I'll just cut my round sleeve measurements. 
so I'm just going to cut to the down part so I'm just tracing a line then be careful of when you want to cut the front piece just raise it up a little so you won't cut it with the back piece So these are joba piece. So that's our joba piece. So the next thing is just to cut our cap. So for the cap, I'm using eight inches by four inches. Check my previous videos on the jab to know more about the jab cap. So the fabric is a um, two that is for both sleeve and the length is about 20 inches and the breadth is 12 inches so coming to the sewing tutorial now i have both my front and my back piece so i'm just going to remove my back piece and i'm going to have just the front piece i don't want my neckline to be like this one i want to attach elastic to my whole neckline so I'm just going to come down from that place by 5 inches and at the other side also I'll take 5 inches so I'm just going to connect those points to form a triangle sorry to form a rectangle so after forming my rectangle I'm just going to make a slight curve from the edge there to the last edge of the rectangle and I'm just going to cut it so this is only for the front piece so this is my back piece now I'm just going to open it up and the right side is facing me So I'm just going to place the front piece on it, right side facing each other. Then I'm going to pin it from this side, from the head of the head opening to the slip path there. So I pin both sides already. And then leaving my sleeve opening, I'm going to pin from the end of the sleeve opening down to the edge of the fabric so I'll just pin it down to the edge of the jubat there so I pinned both sides also to the edge of the jubat so I'll just take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew so basically I'm going to leave just the sleeve opening and the head circumference So I stitched all the sides already. I have my sleeve opening and I have my head opening also. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take 8 inches from the midpoint of the head opening. So I'm just going to take 8 inches then. And then at the other side also, I'll turn it to the other side and I'm going to take 8 inches also. Which is the measurements we took for the jab cap then. And I have a 4 inches elastic. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to make an elastic opening from one chalked end to the other chalked end. So from that part, 
I'm going to fold it and make an elastic opening to the other chucked parts to the other chucked parts there So I did that already. So with my safety pin, I'm just going to pull my elastic in. So when I get to the first edge, I will hold it down with my straight pin. And I'm just going to continue pulling. When I get to the other edge also, I will hold this down with a straight pin. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to notch the midpoint of my head opening. And then I notch the midpoint of my jab cap also. So I'm just going to place it right side facing each other. And I'm going to start pinning from the notched parts so I'm just going to pin it all after which I will take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch on it and then this is for my sleeve and I have 8 inches elastic so I'm just going to sew at the midpoint while pulling the elastic so I did that already I just attach the elastic to the fabric after which I'm going to fold the fabric and I'm going to use it to cover up the elastic so I'm just going to use it to cover up the elastic and I'm going to gather up the last edge so I stitch my jab opening to my cap already then for the sleeve I covered up the elastic already so I just gathered it to fit into my sleeve opening so the next I'm going to do is just to attach it to my sleeve opening. So I'll just attach it to the sleeve opening and I'm going to stitch on it. So this is the final outcome of our sleeve. That's the jab opening. So the last thing we are going to do is just to hem the down part of our jibab. So I'm just going to fold it twice. And I'll take it to my sewing machine and then hem it. And because I use for of fabrics, I have access. So I just decided to make an hijab cap for me. You can check my tutorial on that. So this is the final outcome of our jubab. I hope you find the tutorial helpful. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. Then if you have any question, you're able to drop it at the comment section. And if you also have a request, you can drop it in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Enjoy. Yeah, I'll see you in my next video, Bismillah. Take care, bye.